my mind, let all my thoughts be still. Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. What is forgiveness? What is forgiveness? Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. Well, thank you so much for joining me today here on the banks of the Arkansas River right below the Kerr Reservoir Dam. I'm Miracle Willie, forgiveness teacher from the Ozarks, and we're ready for Lesson 221, which is, we're beginning part two of A Course in Miracles. We finished the undoing process, is how I like to think of it. Now we're just going to stabilize what we already know to be true. We've learned to practice forgiveness, to watch our peace, to see when we need it, and we've learned to sit still and quiet and ask for those holy instants to be given unto us. So let's start with uh, part one introduction. Words will mean little now. We use them at, but as guides on which we do not now depend. For now we seek direct experience of truth alone. The lessons that remain are merely introductions to the times in which we leave the world of pain and go to enter peace. Now we begin to reach the goal this course has set and find the end toward which our practicing was always geared. Now we attempt to let the exercise be merely a beginning, for we wait in quiet expectation for our God and Father. He has promised He will take the final step Himself, and we are sure His promises are kept. We have come far along the road, and now we wait for Him. We will continue spending time with Him each morning and at night as long as makes us happy. We will not consider time a matter of duration now. We use as much as we will need for the result that we desire. Now will we forget our, oh, nor will we forget, not now, nor will we forget our hourly remembrance in between, calling to God when we have need of Him as we are tempted to forget our goal. So the new change, we're going to be not doing 15 minutes twice today. We're, whatever time you want to take, he says, is okay. Follow, follow your needs as to how much time you want to spend. He says, uh, we will continue spending time with him each morning and at night as long as makes us happy. <laughs> so whether that's 15 minutes or 5 minutes or 30 minutes, make sure you... Stay in the presence of God in that quiet place where He can teach you for as long as you want. And then He says, but don't forget your hourly remembrances. Today, peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. Paragraph 3, we will continue with a central thought for all the days to come, and we will use that thought to introduce our times of rest and calm our minds at need. Yet we will not content ourselves with simple practicing in the remaining holy instants which conclude the year that we have given God. We say some simple words of welcome and expect our Father to reveal Himself as He has promised. We have called on Him and He has promised that His Son will not remain unanswered when He calls His name. Now do we come to Him with but His Word upon our minds and hearts and wait for Him to take the step to us that He has told us through His voice He would not fail to take when we invited Him. He has not left His Son in all His madness, nor betrayed His trust in Him. Has not His faithfulness earned Him the invitation that He seeks to make us happy? <laughs> We will offer it, and it will be accepted. So our times with Him will now be spent. We say the words of invitation that His voice suggests, and then we wait for Him to come to us. Paragraph 5. Now is the time of prophecy fulfilled. Now are all 
ancient promises upheld and fully kept, no step remains for time to separate from its accomplishment. For now we cannot fail. Sit silently and wait upon your Father. He has willed to come to you when you have recognized it is your will he do so. And you could have never come this far unless you saw however dimly that it is your will. <laughs> Our will and God's are one. He wants us happy and, and we want to be happy. We're trying to follow God's will, which is our will, is what he's saying. We couldn't have come this far if we hadn't noticed that a little bit. Paragraph 6. I am so close to you, we cannot fail. Father, we give these holy times to you in gratitude to him who taught us how to leave the world of sorrow in exchange for its replacement, given us by you. We look not backward now. We look ahead and fix our eyes upon the journey's end. Accept these little gifts of thanks from us as through Christ's vision we behold a world beyond the one we made and take that world to be the full replacement of our own. And now we wait in silence, unafraid and certain of your coming. We have sought to find our way by following the guide you sent to us. We did not know the way, but you did not forget us. And we know that you will not forget us now. We ask but that your ancient promises be kept, which are your will to keep. We will with you in asking this. The Father and the Son, whose holy will created all that is, can fail in nothing. In this certainty we undertake these last few steps to you and rest in confidence upon your love, which will not fail the Son who calls to you. Eight. And so we start upon the final part of this one holy year, which we have spent together in the search for truth and God, who is its one creator. We have found the way he chose for us and made the choice to follow it as he would have us go. His hand has held us up. His thoughts have lit the darkness of our minds. His love has called to us unceasingly since time began. We had a wish that God would fail to have the Son whom he created for himself. He wanted God to change himself and be what we would make of him. And we believed that our insane, des and we believed that our insane desires were the truth. Now we are glad that this is all undone and we no longer think illusions true. The memory of God is shimmering across the wide horizons of our minds. A moment more and it will rise again. A moment more and we who are God's Son are safely home where He would have us be. Now is the need for practice almost done. For in this final section we will come to understand that we need only call to God and all, dis and all dis temptations disappear. For in this final section we will come to understand that we need only call to God and all temptation disappears. Instead of words we need but feel his love. Instead of prayers we need but call his name. Instead of judging we need but be still and let all things be healed. We will accept the way God's plan will end as we receive the way it started. Now it is complete. This year has brought us to eternity. One further use of words we still retain. From time to time, instructions on a theme of special relevance will intersperse our daily lessons and the periods of wordless, deep experience which should come afterwards. These special thoughts should be reviewed each day, each one of them to be continued till the next is given you. They should be slowly read and thought about a little while preceding one of the holy and blessed instants in the day. We give the first of these instructions now. What is forgiveness? Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. It does not pardon sins and make them real. It sees there was no sin. And in that view are all your sins forgiven. What is sin except a false idea about God's Son? Forgiveness merely sees its falsity and therefore lets it go. What then is free to take its place is now the will of God. 
An unforgiving thought is one which makes a judgment that it will not raise to doubt, although it is not true. The mind is closed and will not be released. The thought protects projection, tightening its chains, so the distortions are more veiled and more obscure, less easily accessible to doubt, and further kept from reason. What can come between a fixed projection and the aim that it has chosen as its wanted goal? An unforgiving thought does many things. In frantic action it pursues its goal, twisting and overturning what it sees as interfering with its chosen path. Distortion is its purpose and the means by which it would accomplish it as well. It sets about its furious attempts to smash reality without concern for anything that would appear to pose a contradiction to its point of view. Forgiveness, on the other hand, is still and quietly does nothing. It offends no aspect of reality nor seeks to twist it to appearances it likes. It merely looks and waits and judges not. He who would not forgive must judge, for he must justify his failure to forgive. But he who would forgive himself must learn to welcome truth exactly as it is. Do nothing then and let forgiveness show you what to do. Through him who is your guide, your savior and protector, strong in hope and certain of your ultimate success, he has forgiven you already for such is his function given him by God. Now must you share his function and forgive whom he has saved, whose sinlessness he sees and whom he honors as the Son of God. And now our first lesson, and our lesson 221, peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. Father, I come to you today to seek the peace that you alone can give. I come in silence, in the quiet of my heart, the deep recesses of my mind. I wait and listen for your voice. My Father, speak to me today. I come to hear your voice in silence and in certainty and love. Sure, you will hear my call and answer me. Now do we wait in quiet. God is here because we wait together. I am sure that he will speak to you and you will hear. Accept my confidence, for it is yours. Our minds are joined. We wait with one intent to hear our Father's answer to our call, to let our thoughts be still and find his peace, to hear him speak to us of what we are, and to reveal himself unto his Son. Peace to my mind. Let all my thoughts be still. And let's go take a look, uh, and there was quite a bit of reading there. We won't have to read that much the rest of the, of the book, but we did, had to read that introduction. And, uh, but let's go, before we, let's go see what we're going to read in the text reading today. We're just going to read about three paragraphs, just a page and a half, or, or not even that much, probably. Um, salvation from fear, which is chapter 24, the goal of specialness. Salvation from, from fear. And let's read the first four paragraphs. Before we read that, though, it's a bullet journal day. Uh, personal journals, and, you know, organizing your uh, calendar of things to do and to-do lists. Uh, Dalek Day, also on de December 21st, and uh, the BBC's Doctor Who's Robot is what this is all about, Dalek Day. Happiness Happens Day. If you don't block it, that's what naturally happened because you're a son of God or a daughter of God. International Cat Day, the Felis Catus. Oh, a lot of us have cats, huh? CBD, it's a cabinet, cabidon, cabidial, ca, cannabidial, cannabidial, cabad, cannabidial. <laughs> it's a, can, a can, cannabis sativa product, product, CBD. Dollar Day. Uh, U.S. Congress made the monetary system we have today with the dollar on this day in 1786. Frozen Custard Day, Zucchini Day, Kirkabita Peppo, and it's also um, uh, sneak some zucchini onto your neighbor's porch night. If you grow, grow it enough to where you can get, have it to give away, well, then just give it to your neighbor. Put it on the porch. I don't think you have to sneak it on there. Odie Day, uh, that's Garfield's friend. Scottish Wildcat Day, the Felis Sylvestris. Uh, it's the only wildcat in the in Great on Great Britain, British Isles. 
uh, the date to create. You might create something today. Uh, Bonds of Bottler Day, 8 of 8. Also, Universal and International Infinity Day, you know, the infinity sign to uh, an 8 on its side. Uh, wear your mother's jewelry for you kids or anybody. My mom used to wear her mom's ring. Uh, and then out of uh, edible landscaping, we've got the ground nut, the Apios Americana. As a member of the pea family, they contain nitrogen-fixing bacteria on the root nodules. They're a vine with edible tubers. And, and so let's see what it says about the uh, Apios Americana uh, ground nut. A graceful native tuber producing perennial vine of twining habit, blooming fragrant maroon chocolate flowers, usually dug up in the winter months. The sweet, the sweet starchy tubers are eaten raw, boiled, fried, roasted, and otherwise prepared like potatoes. Our plants are a strain from LSU, Blackman, superior cultivars with large tubers, zone six through eight. There you go. Okay, now, how are we looking on time? I think we're looking real good. Okay, now let's take a look at uh, these first four paragraphs, or maybe three or four or five, something. Salvation from fear in chapter 24. The goal of specialness. Salvation from fear. Before your brother's holiness, the world is still, and peace descends on it, and gentleness and blessing so complete that not one trace of conflict still remains to haunt you in the darkness of the night. He is your Savior from the dreams of fear. He is the healing of your sense of sacrifice and fear, that what you have will scatter with the wind and turn to dust. In Him is your assurance. God is here and with you now. While he is what he is, you can be sure that God is knowable and will be known to you. For he could never leave his own creation. And the sign that this is so lies in your brother, offered you that all your doubts about yourself may disappear before his holiness. See in him, see in your brother, God's creation. For in him his father waits for your acknowledgement that he created you as part of him. Paragraph 2. Without you, there would be a lack in God, a heaven incomplete, a son without a father. There could be no universe and no reality, for what God wills is whole and part of him because his will is one. Nothing alive that is not part of him and nothing is but is alive in him. Your brother's holiness shows you that God is one with him and you that what he has is yours because you are not separate from him nor from his father. Paragraph 3. Nothing is lost to you in all the universe. Nothing that God created has he failed to lay before you lovingly as yours forever. And no thought within his mind is absent from your own. It is his will you share his love for you and look upon yourself as lovingly as he conceived of you before the world began, and as he knows you still. God changes not his mind about his son with passing circumstance, which has no meaning in eternity, where he abides and you with him. Your brother is as he created him, and it is this that saves you from a world that he created not. Forget not that the, this paragraph four, forget not that the healing of God's son is all the world is for, that is the only purpose the Holy Spirit sees in it, and thus the only one it has, our healing. <laughs> Until you see the healing of the Son as all you wish to be accomplished by the world, by time and all appearance, you will not know the Father nor yourself, for you will use the world for what is not its purpose and will not escape its laws of violence and death, yet it is given you to be beyond its laws in all respects in every way, in every circumstance, and all temptation to perceive what is not there, and all belief God's Son can suffer pain because he sees himself as he is not. You know, happiness happens day is what today is. What's our time in there? Let me get in there. Look, can I see? Are we, I can't hardly even tell what time it is, but I think we're looking okay on time. I want to read one more paragraph, but remember, our, the purpose of the world is for healing. 
Look on your brother and behold in him the whole reversal of the laws that seem to rule this world. See in his freedom yours, for such it is. Let not his specialness obscure the truth in him, for not one law of death you bind him to will you escape, and not one sin you see in him but keeps you both in hell. Yet will his perfect sinlessness release you both, for holiness is quite impartial with one judgment made for all it looks upon. And that, is, and that is made not of itself, but through the voice that speaks for God in everything that lives and shares his being. Okay, well, and I, I think we'll, it's a little hard for me to see the, the clock today, uh, but I think we're looking good on time. So let's close with our song. You don't, you're not bound by the 15 minutes, morning and night, but just whatever time you feel like you need to, to make you happy. Happiness happens. And do your hourly remembrance and always pull on these ideas if you feel tempted throughout the day to get upset. You can tell yourself, Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still peace to my mind let all my thoughts be still peace to my mind let all my thoughts be still for what is forgiveness so oh, what is forgiveness what is forgiveness what is forgiveness what is forgiveness forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred that's our first that's our first sentence under uh, what is forgiveness what is forgiveness forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred Forgiveness recognizes what you thought your brother did to you has not occurred. Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. My mind let all my thoughts be still. And our word for peace is uh, out of the Macedonian language. And it's uh, mir. So Macedonia, you know, over there in the northern uh, part of the Balkan Peninsula, uh, the northern part of Greece, uh, Macedonia right there above that. And the word is peace, or is mere for peace. Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. And be sure to give some zucchini away if you grew a bunch of it. You know, first year I grew zucchini, I grew it so much I actually ricked it up like firewood. I had a whole rick of firewood, but it was zucchini. <laughs> it was hard to get rid of it all. And that's why I can see what people wanted to lay it on people's porches. <laughs> anyway, easy plant to grow here in the Ozarks and, and a lot of places. Peace to my mind, let all my thoughts be still. Mirror.